We are so close to finishing the office. I think we're gonna finish it tonight. That first scene, I'm just filled with optimism. I felt the best way to do this vlog was gonna be to narrate as I'm editing it because it was just not a good day. This is my favorite time of the day. I'm in line to pick up Cliff. Next Thursday, I'm going to New York City, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm trying to finish up all these woodworking projects before I go. Gotta pick up the boy right now from school, uh, run home, change, uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna finish uh, Phil and Aaron's office tonight. So picked the boy up, took him home to change and get ready for the day. I just love Amazon packages. Going to these boxes right here. We've got the smart hub here, so you just type in the code and... Out pops your package. It's one of my favorite things. So I realized that vlogging with kids while you're trying to do work and all that stuff is really difficult. So I'm really, I'm having to fill in the gaps here. After got home changed, we had to go pick up Claire. It's rush hour. So that was kind of the first thing that went bad is we had to go pick up Claire and it was just nonstop bumper to bumper traffic. And it just takes way longer. <laughs> At Home Depot, we gotta get supplies for the floating shelf. I think today for the vlog, we're going to show you how to install the desk and the floating shelves, and we're gonna finish off that room. So, gotta run and grab some things from Home Depot. That screw up right there ended the vlog. I always try and think ahead and take one trip to the store, get all my tools, do as much as I can. And right there is when I mismeasured and miscut a piece. It all went downhill from there. So I get to Phil and Aaron's house expecting that I have everything I need to complete the project. And I realized that I was missing two iron pipe elbows. I hate making multiple trips to the store. It's an absolute waste of time and it's so frustrating for me. So I decided I was gonna go to my house. I thought that I had everything I needed to finish the project at my house. I get to my house, I don't have the right things. So then I'm having to go to Home Depot again and it's just so frustrating. And it was at this point right here that I realized everything is going to be okay. It may be frustrating, it may be infuriating, it may drive me nuts, but it's not the end of the world. And so at that point I was like, I took a deep breath, said, okay, everything's gonna be okay. So I got back, I made the leg for the desk. Here is gonna be the leg that's gonna go underneath the desk. So it's all just black iron pipe. So I got all the pieces together, time to start putting it together upstairs. I screw in the supports for the desk.
I grab the countertop. It doesn't fit. I was so mad that I turned off the camera and I was done. And that was the point that I realized that I had to make mental choices about what I focused on. And vlogging was not the thing that I needed to be focused on. I needed to focus on getting that project done. Doing this vlog is very interesting for me. I'm having to figure it out as I go. And I'm balancing kids, work, projects, vlogging. And it's a really interesting experience for me, so I'm glad that I'm doing it. But at this point in this vlog, it was it was my terrible, no good, very bad day. So camera went off. So I went to bed that night knowing that I had uploaded a vlog. Yeah, everything didn't go all right, but I wasn't in an ambulance. My kids are safe, my kids are healthy. I uploaded the vlog, a lot of things went right. And so for me, yesterday was a lesson about perspective, about not letting the small things affect you as much as I tend to let them. Tomorrow's another day that I can fight for.